Think about your smartphone for a moment. It's not just a device. It's the center of your digital universe. Every day, you use it to connect with friends and family, store precious memories in the form of photos and videos, manage your finances, and even access sensitive work information. Your contacts, your personal messages, your banking details, and your very identity are all stored in this one small device that fits in your pocket. It's your lifeline to the world, and you probably can't imagine a day without it. But have you ever stopped to think about the tiny SIM card inside your phone? It might seem insignificant, but this little chip is actually the gateway to your entire digital life. And unfortunately, it's become a prime target for cyber criminals. Hackers have developed sophisticated techniques to clone SIM cards, allowing them to hijack your phone number and gain access to your accounts. With just a few pieces of information, they can intercept your calls and texts, reset your passwords, and even drain your bank accounts, all without you realizing what's happening until it's too late. This type of attack is known as SIM swapping. It's a silent and devastating crime that can completely upend your life in a matter of minutes. Victims often don't realize they've been targeted until they're locked out of their accounts or see unauthorized transactions. The emotional and financial impact can be overwhelming. In this video, we're going to break down the 10 most advanced methods hackers are using to clone SIM cards in 2025. We'll show you exactly how these attacks work, and more importantly, what you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones from becoming the next victim. If you care about your digital security and want to stay one step ahead of cyber threats, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to CyberNexia for the latest insights, tips, and updates on how to keep your digital life safe. Let's dive in and empower ourselves with knowledge. First up, social engineering, often called the art of hacking people instead of hacking systems. Unlike technical attacks that target software or hardware, social engineering is all about manipulating human psychology. It's about tricking people into giving up sensitive information, access, or even control over their accounts without them ever realizing it. Hackers start by gathering your personal info from everywhere they can, social media, data breaches, public records, and even seemingly harmless online quizzes. Every birthday post, tagged location, or family photo you share can be a puzzle piece. They build a detailed profile, collecting names, addresses, phone numbers, and even your pet's name, anything that could help them impersonate you. Armed with these details, the hacker is ready to strike. They'll call your mobile carrier, pretending to be you. They might claim their phone was lost, or that they're locked out and need urgent access for work. The story changes, but the goal is always the same, to convince the customer service rep that they are you and that they need immediate help. Customer service reps are often under pressure to resolve issues quickly. They're trained to be helpful and efficient, but that can sometimes mean skipping important security steps, especially if the caller sounds convincing or desperate. If one rep refuses to help, the hacker doesn't give up, they simply hang up and call again and again and again, each time hoping to find someone who's tired, distracted, or just eager to help. This persistence is key to their strategy. This relentless approach is known as hashing. It's about finding the weakest link in the chain. All it takes is one person to make a mistake and the hacker is in. With just one yes, your phone number is transferred to a SIM card controlled by the hacker. Suddenly, they have access to your calls, texts, and even two-factor authentication codes, your phone goes dead, leaving you cut off from your digital life. Meanwhile, the hacker's phone lights up, now fully operating as if it were yours. They can reset your passwords, access your accounts, and impersonate you to friends, family, or even your bank. Social engineering works so well because it preys on human nature, our instinct to trust and to help others in need. Most people want to be helpful, especially when someone sounds genuinely distressed. The best defense? Be mindful of what you share online. Limit the personal details you post and always use extra security measures like two-factor authentication on your mobile and online accounts. Ask your carrier to add a PIN or password to your account for extra protection. Remember, a well-told lie can be more powerful than the most sophisticated malware. Stay alert, question unexpected requests, and don't underestimate the power of social engineering. Next. Let's talk about phishing, a method that's not just targeted, but also incredibly deceptive and in many cases, absolutely deadly for your digital security. 
Phishing attacks are designed to prey on your trust and your habits, making you believe you're interacting with a legitimate source, when in reality, you're being lured into a trap. Hackers craft emails or text messages that look exactly like they're from your mobile carrier. They use the same logos, color schemes, and even mimic the language and urgency you'd expect from a real company. These messages often warn you about supposed account issues like unusual activity detected or payment failure to create a sense of panic. The message urges you to verify your account or update your payment information immediately, providing a convenient link. But that link leads to a fake login page designed to look identical to your carrier's real website. You might think you're being responsible by responding quickly, but when you enter your username, password, or PIN, you're actually handing your sensitive information directly to the attacker. No alarms, no warnings. With your login details and PIN in hand, hackers can now access your carrier's online portal. From there, they can initiate a SIM swap themselves, transferring your phone number to a new SIM card that they control. This gives them access to your calls, texts, and even two-factor authentication codes. What's even more alarming is that these fake sites often use real security certificates, so your browser might show the familiar padlock icon, making the scam nearly impossible to spot at a glance. The attention to detail is chilling. Phishing is so effective because it turns your own caution and desire to protect your account against you. The more you care, the more likely you are to fall for a well-crafted scam. To protect yourself, always double-check the URL before entering any credentials. If you receive a message that seems urgent or suspicious, don't click any links. Instead, type your carrier's official website address directly into your browser or use their official app. When in doubt, go directly to your carrier's official site or contact their customer support through verified channels. Taking a few extra seconds to verify can save you from a world of trouble. Sometimes the threat is inside the company. A bribed or disgruntled employee can swap your SIM from within, bypassing all security. Criminals recruit insiders or compromise their credentials, making detection nearly impossible. This method is fast, silent, and devastating. For you, the result is the same. Your number, gone. Trust, once broken, is hard to repair. Now the high-tech stuff, IMS eye catchers or stingrays. These devices mimic cell towers, tricking your phone into connecting. Once connected, attackers can intercept your SIM's unique keys, especially on older, less secure networks. With those keys, they clone your SIM onto a blank card. Suddenly, there are two U's on the network. This attack requires proximity and specialized gear, but it's becoming more common. If you're a high-value target, you could be at risk in public spaces. Sometimes, the threat is closer than you think. Malware isn't just for computers. Your phone is just as vulnerable. Malicious apps or phishing links can install spyware that logs your keystrokes, steals your credentials, and even pulls SIM data. Some advanced malware can extract SIM authentication keys directly, enabling a perfect clone. The malware does the recon for the hacker, silently gathering everything needed for a SIM swap. Protect yourself. Only install apps from trusted sources and keep your phone updated. Your phone can betray you. Don't make it easy. Hackers also target the carrier's own systems. Vulnerable APIs meant for internal use can leak customer data if not properly secured. Attackers exploit these flaws to access account numbers, pins, and more, enabling mass SIM swaps. These attacks are technical, scalable, and hard for users to prevent. The only fix is for carriers to patch their systems. Sometimes, your security is only as strong as your provider's weakest code. Sometimes, the attack starts with your email. If hackers compromise your inbox, they can reset your carrier account password, lock you out, and swap your SIM. Your email is the master key. Protect it with strong passwords and app-based two-factor authentication. Never use SMS for 2FA on your email. If your SIM is swapped, the hacker gets your codes. Guard your email like your life depends on it, because it just might. Some attackers go old school, walking into a store with a fake ID. With enough personal info, they forge documents and impersonate you in person. If the employee isn't trained to spot fakes, the attacker walks out with your new SIM. This method bypasses digital security and relies on human error. Sometimes, the simplest tricks are the hardest to stop. Not all attacks require a SIM swap. Call forwarding can be just as dangerous. Hackers trick you into dialing special codes that forward your calls to them. 
They then intercept verification calls and reset your accounts. You might not notice until it's too late. Always be wary of anyone asking you to dial strange codes. Your phone can be hijacked without ever leaving your hand. SIM swapping has gone industrial. Automated bots now probe carrier systems, brute force pins, and even use AI voices to social engineer reps. These bots attack thousands of accounts at once, making SIM swapping a numbers game. No one is too small to be a target. Automation has made this threat bigger and faster than ever. The threats are real, but you're not powerless. Use strong, unique passwords and app-based two-factor authentication. Never SMS. Be skeptical of unsolicited messages and limit what you share online. Add extra security to your mobile account if possible. Every layer helps. Stay informed, stay alert, and subscribe to CyberNexia for more ways to protect yourself. Digital security is personal responsibility. Make it a habit. Thanks for watching.